Hello everyone. Thank you for joining me. Today I will uh, start uh, live uh, tutorials on Facebook as I promised and thank you so much for everyone who who let me know you guys want uh, to do on the Facebook because previously I started on the Facebook <coughs> but uh, because I got more inquiry to Instagram I switched to Instagram and uh, I think it's just time to come back hi shorty how are you thank you for joining me today I will uh, do <coughs> realistic uh, three-dimensional designs <coughs> I just wait in couple minutes make sure everybody got uh, the notification uh, and uh, hi Terry thank you for joining and you can see already uh, some design I already pre-made I think it's super cool and always uh, the customer asking both so that is a good uh, uh, reason to share with you guys how you can make it easily and that is absolutely a flexible one so customer can can uh, play around uh, you will not uh, broke down the the gel hi Christina hi Kathy <laughs> thank you for joining me I hope uh, the connection is good enough because I see really uh, sometimes just stop the video let please confirm me everyone is see and everything is normal it's just on my laptop show different it's okay excellent so <clears throat> I will doing gel nail art again you can do any kind of three-dimensional uh, design but that kind of gel uh, which is the flexi one from Joann's is after cured uh, still flexible and the customer will not lose it so you can uh, really uh, I show you can really squeeze and just couple seconds will take out to the original you see always uh, fix the shape as you cured and after we'll turn back to the original shape which is so cool I think so and uh, I will show how to use and how you create a ball because I know it looks easy but sometimes just uh, uh, have difficulty how you make it hi everyone <coughs> so what you will need for sure uh, I'm using a regular plastic uh, bag that is firm uh, enough and have to be clean and nice okay if something is already dirty or scratched I do not recommend to use that I will using the glass flexi gel which is a super firm and glass like transparent so it's fully transparent I will need the my metal tool because I don't using any kind of brush to make that I just using simple the metal stick which is you know I always using <laughs> and uh, you will need uh, some kind of flash cure when you're doing on the customer I will doing on the tips right now but that is doesn't make easier the cast don't forget it the customer keep her hand so I have to uh, hand to make it right now I have to keep it one and I have to use the just only one hand but I will explaining how you make it on the customer nail actually on the customer nail is will be more easier so as a glass gel uh, from the realistic flexi I previously made uh, this lacy valentine tame uh, design you can find it or uh, as recorded video in my uh, youtube channel actually always i save uh, the videos if i can on the youtube channel and i did uh, already pre-made uh, little balls one is like uh, really really unique uh, ocelot uh, 
design. As you see, those are squeezable too. And always pick up the original shape as you made. Really three dimensional and really, I think it's really cute, fancy. Or I did the velvety one. The velvety is more elegant. Of course, you can add more decoration. I just do as, as a sample. So you can squeeze it and always turn to the original shape back. It is really three dimensional. Okay. And no worry, customer will not able to broke them. And that is a velvet one. And I did some red and black because for someone need a more uh, brightling colors. Okay, those are same, flexible, go back to the original shape and three-dimensional. Hi, Cindy. Thank you for joining me. And the glass slipper one, which is super cute, Timothy. Teeny tiny. I just did different version to make sure uh, you get inspiration. And that is same, flexible. I try to use the metal stick because my gloves will hide it. Look. It's so flexible, unbreakable, really, really good. And that is totally trans transparent with little silvery uh, end, which is, I think, on the shorties, short nails, that is just super cute. And I only used a Swarovski on the top and I fixed them with the glue gel pen. Okay, the glue gel pen, not the pen is matter. Actually, it's really cool because you can squeeze out, but any other company can sell kind of different like that. It's important, super strong. So keep the Swarovski on, keep the ball on for uh, long lasting, okay? Let's make it. How you do? How are you guys? It's not weird. I, I just come back because, uh, because I promised to you guys and maybe I'm goofy because I don't understand why because same as uh, the Instagram but the Instagram is so stable to me as uh, uh, the medium is really really good I never had problem and a little bit I stressed out uh, about the connection because I see every minute is just stop like freezing so I hope it's not it's just on my monitor looks like I miss you too <laughs> <coughs> so I just made uh, this kind of uh, little shape is like a, a one piece important is both side it's closed okay it's like a, this way you see okay that is help me when I squeezing out doesn't move around the two uh, foil okay that is just help you can do two single foil but when i will uh, squeezing out maybe can move around so i like uh, that one of the foil if you want to do that and you buy the glass uh, realistic gel and if you add on the memo uh, you need the bag i will send to you new bags okay which is perfect for doing that. So I will supplying that. But anyway, any kind of foil is good. Just have to be firm enough and uh, you can cut like the little like this, okay? So I'm using the metal stick to take it out, some of the gel, which is I push in. It's super hard gel, okay? It's not similar for anything, right? You see? It's it's really really you need a metal tool for that I do not recommend to use the wood because the the wood stick because it's firm the gel the wood particle can stick into the gel okay used any kind of metal uh, tool so I open it and I put it into Actually, you can roll in the shape if you already have any kind of plan, okay? I need a longer one, so I already rolling. When you're rolling, it start to be opaque, okay? It's less transparent. No worry. You already see it's less transparent. It's like whitish, okay? That is the nature of the gel because 100% keep the shape 
uh, from my uh, gloves okay so no worry about that so i place into the center just like this okay and right now i teach you how you bake pie american pie okay if you already know how you bake that's fine but i know a lot of people <laughs> just don't and when, when the grandma is dead uh, bake it uh, to create the crust part of the pie they use the wood stick to rolling to make same uh, size and same shape the dough okay i put the white underneath maybe it will be more visible to you guys I hope so okay so here is in the center the gel you can squeeze a little bit manually if you want and this you see already super transparent because pick up the uh, surface which is shiny from the foil previously it was like a little opaque because pick up of the shape of the surface the the design right so I touch down and as the dough we do rolling gentle rolling rolling up and I do same I'm roll it okay touch down and rolling 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 and rolling try to add same pressure on all side okay I check it the thickness okay for me that is really thick because it's super small teeny tiny nail she doesn't want a big chunky piece so i'm going over again roll it roll it roll it roll it roll it and back back or you can always switch and roll it that part that kind of design you can do front of the customer but same time you can pre-made that as I did for example I just show I pre-made those teeny tiny uh, clear ones like a halfway cured and after I just attach to the customer nail okay so you can make a head if you want that is good too okay that is a really really special gel is no other similar in the world I tell you because I made it <laughs> not yet maybe China will buy some because they do and they try to uh, reproduce but because they don't know the ingredient they never will and I just made that because I really needed a good three-dimensional product which is uh, keep the shape and the customer will not broken down that is the point because if you do real three-dimensional like stand up stand out of from the nail surface that is so easy to broke down okay i check the size okay that is the size which acceptable okay most of the time i do more thinner i just want to check you see or not it's like teeny tiny teeny tiny one so i just do a little bit more thinner just because i love really the sophisticated thin one if someone really tough person <laughs> you know what i mean maybe you can keep uh, wider or uh, thicker the gel but generally even if thin it's really uh, really good material will not broke down and will keep the shape okay a little bit more Guys, if you have question, let me know. Hi everyone. Hi Rosemary. Hi Jen, Janet. So I'm just rolling, rolling, rolling. <clears throat> you can do that, for example, pre-make the balls or any other design when some customer is late or delay. You know, that is the time when we don't realize, but we lose money because same time you are able to working but the customer uh, just canceled the appointment and you stay over there without any uh, work. So right now I'm using just a regular scissor, okay? The big one, nothing special. 
right now I just cut one side to straight just make straight mm -hmm. and the other side too okay this is how it looks like so far and I just I make right now a big one so you can see uh, how I make it okay I cutting the V because we need the V shape for the bowl I want a drawing which kind of shape you have to make especially if I find my pan sounder over the rainbow I'm not sure that is okay I will drawing later and I do the V this part too and the V this part too so that kind of shape we have to do okay so next one that is too pointed so I just adjust make sure both will be same or similar yeah more flat and they cutting to here and then cutting to here those will be miniature right now like here and like here actually that point you can you can prim it as is so you can keep it this way and you make just front of the customer when she asking the bowl just make sure you uh, keep it in storage which is no UV radiation so is no light can uh, reach out okay so here we are Yes, all gel is made in uh, uh, my manufacture area and uh, we are in United States, California. So one thing what I am doing, I elevate the foil on one side. Okay, here we are. Make sure you take it off the foil. If not, and you will realize it's will uh, you will be on the trouble because uh, will be not flexible anymore okay and gentle rolling and I wanna touch the two point now right now I did a super miniature mm -hmm. especially in the big gloves is just not easy so I just try to make touch the two points okay and let's cure it I open it again and make sure I touch the point okay right now I elevated it all on, with my metal tool and I put it into the lamp <clears throat> okay I take it off from the metal tool and I let it be in the lamp by just by themselves it's so mini, cine mini what I did. I, I promised I'd start with big. I will do one bigger, uh, okay, so you can see better. I take off one of the foil, one part of the foil. Mm -hmm. And I try to connect the two point of 
the rhombus shape. Here we are. I put it into my little metal tool and go into the lamp because they will cure together. Okay. And this point I will attach on the customer service. Okay. So I made the two side of the bow and after I add on the customer nail. Who did ever a 3D ball already? Not that one, anything else. Do you are often doing uh, balls? When I, I placing, I placing one part and I placing another part. Okay, and between, I usually use uh, the Swarovski, for example, like that. Okay, and because I'm using the super strong uh, gel to glue it down, it will be stay, stay on securely. No worry. You can, you see, I'm so rough right now and it's not a problem. You can squeeze it, you can press down, we'll, we'll pick up the original shape. Okay, here we are. One side. And I try to find the another one. Here we are. Okay, so that is how we do. Now let's do some bigger, okay? So you will see more better. I take a little bit on the side right now. I do a bigger uh, size like this size, so you can, or this size, so you can see better, okay? I just show how miniature you can do too, because uh, sometimes a uh, customer uh, asking big things, but her snail surface is so small, so make sure you don't do too big, because we'll be not balanced. So let's do something bigger. Bigger me need more better of the gel. I'm just looking for my meta tool. Here we are. So I take it out a massive bigger gel. You take out as many as you need to get that um, ball. I take up maybe too much, but that's okay. So I rolling to one kind of road, or you can start in the ball, rounding, rounding, rounding. You see, and after you just rolling between two finger to create like this kind of shape that is already helped to to create a longer shape. Okay. Just like this. And right now go between the two foil. I squeeze a little bit just with the hand <coughs> I touch down <coughs> and I start rolling 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 I want to do more longer because I need a bigger ball okay I go upside down rolling 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 check the white uh, how thick just one more time Ooh. i do really really slow to you guys to make sure uh, you see and you understand how i'm doing important if you do rolling will be homogen Okay, one thing you really don't want, have one part is thicker, one part is thinner. Because that will be visible uh, and not really nice on the customer nail. Okay. I cut to half. And I add both together because I need both uh, side is same wide. 
Mm -hmm. Keep it straight. I cut it. And I do cut it. And right now I do the little triangle cutting. And uh, triangle. Do a little bit wider. And this way too. Triangle and triangle. One thing make sure you do nicely. The pointed have to be same, around same, okay? The V. Because if not, when you are touching each other, next to each other, will be not match. This is why I'm cutting together. Okay. And I start with one. Mm -hmm. Okay. I already squeezed. Touch it. Here we are. And put it into the lamp. I do the other side. After cutting, I try to do that shape. Okay? Because that is the normal uh, create. Because that point and that point i will attach each other and this way you will see this kind of triangle so kind of rhombo shape kind of take it off the foil i will touch one point with the other like this this is how i created the triangle okay let's cure it and how i painting like this like a velvet one right now it's cured so I have to take it off the, the another foil. You remember had two foil, two side of the foil. So I just take it off. I'm going to and I place on the demonstration tip glue. I just place it on like this. Okay. I put it back that because I think I don't cure the 60 seconds. So I just add 30 seconds more. <coughs> so that I will painting and create the velvet effect, okay? Not I am in the frame. Okay, I try behave. <laughs> yes, because it's so difficult. Sometimes you guys want to see, please show me closer, but if I'm closer, it's so uh, difficult to keep in, in the frame. The foil clear plastic help to keep from them cloudy yes if, when you're touching it will be cloudy however i will painting that so that point is doesn't matter but if i make i will do one of like that the glass slipper style now that point make sure you don't touched 
the surface before you coating because you want this beautiful clear so I'm pretty sure right now it's cured properly so I take it off Yes, it's really, really cool gel, I tell ya. A lot of kind of design you can do. I just show right now the balls because customer always want the balls and we struggling always with the balls <laughs> because they want to on the short nail, but they want a big ball and three dimensional, but they will broke down. So <clears throat> that is a good solution to someone who want a real uh, three dimensional uh, Ball. So I'm going to be using uh, the 150. You remember that is the color that I do demoing yesterday. Okay. I just want to make sure it's color matching. So let's paint the surface with that. That is the color it 150 from the Western collection. It's just a really, really, really good, cool blue. And I will using the perfect, uh, the fine shader, sorry. And simple, I just painting on the surface. Don't worry, uh, you cannot uh, make anything wrong on the surface. It's moving, of course, because it's flexible, okay? But it's cured, don't forget it, that is already cured. I'm using uh, the little uh, demonstration uh, holder and I'm using, it's really important, the dem demonstration tip glue and I touch my t-shirt uh, before I apply because if too firm, too sticky is not good, okay? And I just attached on the surface because I will be able to remove easily. But same time, it's fixed uh, the little 3D ball to I'm able to painting. Thank you for joining us. If someone new, I'm doing right now uh, the three-dimensional uh, flexi gel demonstration, and that is the new as the flexi glass, which is more special than the flexi one. It's just different uh, mixture <coughs> that I made. And yes, you are able to painting on the surface any color as customer uh, want or wish. One thing I have to tell you because I'm using same or family kind of ingredients. I'm not sure about your gel polish, okay? Because if not highly pigmented, let a color it that mean you will apply too thick and will be not flexible anymore or some materials they doesn't love each other don't forget it that gel polish have to live together with the the bow the original gel that makes sense so make sure highly pigmented and make sure you try it because uh, you want long lasting uh, design on the customer If you have a correlate, all colorate color will work because they are with one family, right? So I, when I when we developing, make sure we are make sure they are able to use each other together. <coughs> so I just painting quickly, make sure everywhere is blue, and because I do velvety this time, <coughs> I'm using the crystal clear transparent acrylic which is just a clear powder one thing is super fine okay and let dancing inside multiple time I put it in make sure it's still matte okay okay that I don't use on the customer okay that is the jar what I'm using for like velvety uh, design <coughs> purpose only 
you know me i don't uh, i hate the dipping <laughs> next to each other you know what i mean because customer is even if you disinfect her hand they are sweating okay everybody evaporating uh, from the body and honey i love everyone every nail tech but i don't want this sweating together right so please <laughs> do not put into the jar the customer hand because it's absolutely hygienically not acceptable <clears throat> right now i make full cure because you remember the gel polish have to be cured it's super thin layer because i was able to do super thin just because the full coverage and this way you keep uh, the thin surface as coating so we'll not lose the flexibility you see it's still same flexible customer can play with till it's curing <coughs> i see maybe have any question hi kristen hi elizabeth hi nancy hi janet thank you for joining me how you like that gel It's so special right it's just so cool you can do uh, uh, i did before like this kind of uh, wavy things i'm used for different things but the one thing which is really amazing of that how you are able to do uh, three-dimensional bows or uh, any kind of design and still flexible you see and always keep the shape and come back to the original shape as you made so you can do a lot of things with it yes i attach with that one okay that is the other things super cool stuff but if you don't attach on the surface properly customer can lose okay one more things again that is the packaging i don't even uh, printing on okay because that is just a super cool tool i just needed the house to squeeze out the super quality gel uh, glue okay that is firm and cure to shiny okay is it's really really important <clears throat> because that kind of uh, motion what i'm doing if the the glue or anything what you're using is not keep it sh you will she will lose it all metal i'm using that or i'm using the dotting part or the liner brush inside right that is a little ocelot style so she's back and they remove right now quickly that is really i i honestly that is a must have one because you can add for little metal particle swarovski or fixing big pieces like that but you have to make sure do position i sorry i removed the dust quickly and i pick up my brush which is fall off from my table <coughs> and i add on this so i remove one I remove the two and I will fix on the surface. Let's see. Now, right now it's more easier if the customer keep uh, the hand and I can ask to click and off. Okay, right now I will do it myself because no customer Mm -hmm. yes i started with that a dot first i just do only a dot like this placing on and you see that is moving because the customer doesn't keep now hold on hold on that will be a little bit help not so much but a little bit better so i keep it on place on the surface and turn on the light
Okay, that is just a flash cure right now. I will put it into the lamp to full cure. Other side. I keep gap between. Okay. Maybe I will using. Uh huh. I just try to cheating to make easy error. I keep couple seconds under the light to make sure it's fixed. Okay. And if I see two up, I squeeze underneath a little bit. Press down a little bit. If it's more higher and turn on the light again. Okay. And I put it into the lamp for cure. Why I recommend to use that? Because not just from up to down light, I need a sidewall light. Okay? Because uh, the bowl can cover at the surface. So I recommend to keep for a couple of seconds. That is a tip, but I mean, okay, I show. Make sure you keep it this direction on the customer uh, nails. Because the light have to go in through under the bowl. Where is the gel exactly? Okay. So let's finish with. I'm using the Stats 053. And I'm using the Diamond Touch Swarovski. Mm -hmm. Yes, that, that's chromed. That is the chrome version. It's a glass slipper, so I keep transparent and I add the, the liquid silver to create chrome. It's just so beautiful and super, super, super tiny. So she's back. Right now, at first, I just touch it with the gel. I pick up one of the ring, because that is a ring stud. I just place on, put it back, and I will fill with gel. Okay, and I squeeze gel into the center. Because this is how I can fix it for sure. Customer not able to remove the stats. Honey, that uh, ring, not for sure, no one can take it off. Because I squeeze into the gel. Okay, I add more because right now it's a little bit raised up. I have to fill with gel because the Swarovski have to be fixed on some surface. That makes sense? You cannot fix on the surface when it's gap, have a gap underneath. It will be easily removable. So I just fill. Yes, I need more hands. <laughs> so, and I squeeze again to create the pearl on the top. A little bit raised up, okay? And I add the Swarovski on the top. Okay, do not press down because I want to make sure the light is go through underneath of the Swarovski. This is why I filled up the ring. You remember? I filled up the ring by this reason to make sure the gel between the Swarovski and the ring 
uh, can cure through. Okay, and right now I just put it into the the lamp. Do you guys have any question till that? I will do that one. Oh, where is the teeny tiny balls? I think I lose whatever. I have another one already. I told you you can do pre-made. That means if the customer want uh, the little ball, you just take it out like I do right now. That is including the foil, the outside foil. Okay, this is how I able to protecting. And I do the, uh, the silver frame one. So let's do something base. Mm -hmm. Actually, I used uh, that one from the ballerina, the white, uh, silvery, and not just silver, have multiple color inside. I add on the cuticle area and I pull it, pull it, pull it. It's super flat, it's not chunky, it's not a glitter, so you don't have to encapsulate. Just top shine and that's it. And I will glue it that one directly on the, the customer nail, okay? Just another version. What I did yesterday, that one. I did I didn't do yesterday any ball. That is what I was able to show you the glass slipper. I do work that right now. Mm. It's super cute. And little French nail or any kind of even toenail I do not recommend because if summer that's okay but even if summer sometimes they put it into the shoes like uh, super tied you know what I mean like a stiletto one and uh, that uh, Swarovski is raised up even if that laying down the Swarovski is raised up and will be pressure on her nail and for me more important the health than the beauty so just only this reason I do not recommend <coughs> to do on the toenail but any other nails that is totally okay I'm using right now the matte top coat because I will got like a stony stone uh, effect. Just quickly I apply a thin layer. Don't forget it, the Joanne's just all non uh, white version and uh, not a shiny version. It's a reduced sticky layer of the gel polish <coughs> and the top mean the matte and the, the top shine is absolutely uh, uh, no wipe that mean ready after cure is ready. Sorry. I have to drink something because I dry out my <laughs> throat Sorry for the voice. I just drink some blueberry juice <coughs> That one that is what you love it That is super easy. If anyone doesn't see yesterday the demonstration of those, uh, I already uh, posted in my YouTube channel. And as always, I try to recording every video, every tutorial, and post it 
on my youtube channel so you have a chance to see back not just if you are busy or something because i i want you be with me because i feel i'm not by myself however sometimes you are not able to practicing right now but later on if customer looking for that or you have a time to practicing you are able to watch back on the youtube and not just uh, that one is important it's important because you can uh, watch on the TV so full screen so every teeny tiny details you will see on the if you're watching on the YouTube channel so here we are as you see is like a mat uh, unfortunately on the camera it doesn't give me justice it's so cool it's like matte silvery and uh, multi-dimensional look whatever right now is not really visible so uh, I add one part of the ball which is you have to remove the foil and I keep it uh, the foil on because till the customer doesn't asking to avoid get scratched or anything look so the foil is out right now and I fixed on the surface I calling my clue I putting up center center I putting the dot actually I touch it a little bit far because I need the Swarovski between mm -hmm. do position and let's cure it on Again, the gel is already pre-cured, the ball. I just curing the glue gel. And just for temporary, I will put into the lamp too, together. I just wanna fix it on the surface. So, remove the foil, voila. You can glue on the the ball too if you want actually mm -hmm. okay here we are this is how it looks like so far it's super shiny, glass-like, super pretty. I hope it was absolutely visible. And right now I'm looking for silvery because that will be chrome. Chromey, chromey. Mm -hmm. ah, here we are. That is too big. let's see I think it's too big I need a smaller yes that one so I'm using the 054 I have multiple size for different Swarovskis that is good frame for the Swarovskis not because you want to secure because it just add extra uh, detail okay so you're welcome yes i'm saving on the uh, youtube for always you can watch back and uh, it's more easy to watch on tv and uh, sometimes i posting uh, just in the youtube for i don't know when i don't publish on the facebook and instagram i just posting on the youtube so i add a little dot i touching the ball to the two sides i show pick up the little kind of frame okay yes more much easier when the customer keep her hand and the another hand she can turn on the light to you right okay 
and I'm using the crystal before I apply the crystal I have to fill it because that is just add a raised up uh, the level just a flash cure another one like a pearl flash cure I hope I'm in the camera and right now if it's raised up so it's more higher the gel than the frame I just apply one more and then place the crystal on the top flash cure and right now you can see how like a sandwich try to see it through I hope it's visible because that is the other problem when people asking always how you fix the Swarovski first of all buy good quality uh, gel glue okay lot of gel glue is just <laughs> it's just not okay but second what you can make mistake I have a frame I have a transparent layer which is I made multiple cure okay to make sure the gel is raised up from the frame and after one uh, little extra fresh and I apply the Swarovski. The Swarovski doesn't squeeze down because if you squeeze down totally, the gel between the the bottom and the Swarovski will uh, squeeze out. So you have to keep some transparent layer and you have to cure it this direction because from up through the Swarovski, no way the light going through. That makes sense? On the customer, I'm using this direction, okay? So here we are. <coughs> I can put it into the lamp to kick quick cure till I close the Swarovski. I'm uh, the small frame is, I think, is fit. What you mean fit? Right now, I'm used as a crown base. If you want the Swarovski can go into, I think the 054 is can be SS4. I think it's SS4 or maybe SS5. I have SS5 here. Mm -hmm. I think it's SS5. But I'm not sure because I mixed, right? <coughs> Bad girl, bad girl. We have like SS4. Yeah, so. SS5. Look, that is fit to sit into the frame. Okay, and yes, that is SS12 and SS5 because, because that is two sides together. Okay, no worry. If you guys have any uh, this kind of question, I'm more than happy to help you if I can. <laughs> but uh, on the website the frame have a millimeters so that is help you to to decide but anyway it's just uh, you never know which kind of uh, Swarovski the customer order so here we are and let's play with liquid silver Okay, and I will using my brush. I just uh, wipe it off. Uh, uh, the originally I painted with blue, 
do you remember so i make sure i take it off the blue one and i will touching the side to create like a frame Oh, so cool. You can do smaller or wider. The line is depending how you want to uh, uh, show the chrome. For me, that is typical the glass slipper, dreamy, dreamy ball. <laughs> Okay, don't forget it that is not a uh, ink that is gel what I'm using the liquid silver is not the ink it's not advertised only just a gel that is a real gel so must have to cure into the lamp and this great beautiful effect especially in the at the end oh yeah it's like a little butterfly isn't it so cool it's just so cute so let's cure it <coughs> and I will retouch with top shine right which is this point you can use a top shine or what I more strongly recommend use just simple the brush of the glue gel pen take it off the excess and just touch it the surface with that I think that guys that material it's uh, really unique so you can do really special design like other nail technician uh, in your town can not and the possibility with uh, the glass realistic is just endless is honestly you can do everything what you want it's just so cool real 3d uh, but flexible mean usable really something what customer can wear right because sometimes <laughs> People do big chunky uh, nail art on the surface, but it's absolutely not wearable because we broke down or that is so cute. I love that one too. It's just so cutie cutie. And even if you do, no matter what you do with, always turn back to the sh original shape as you made, as you generally generated to. You can do luxury, you can do really uh, fancy elegant everything or cutie one cutie moody <clears throat> do you guys have any question about that so here is the the new one try to organizing yes that is the japanese one because that is flexible too i use that one because those are flexible yes i used uh, on that one and painted to red i painted on the back and it's still flexible and the gold 
if someone want the extreme you know like more wow i personally love more uh simple like that or more luxury like that one because everybody like ocelot and the little uh, frame and uh, japanese studs what i add or i love that one on any kind of nail any kind of surface right it's like a little butterfly okay uh do you guys want me to do continue uh education in the yes that is good for wedding absolutely so you guys want more uh class from me because i can switch at the saturday class from instagram to facebook if you guys want uh if you re uh, really want to i come back uh, please uh, help me share uh, this live video as you do uh, any other uh, education usually i will absolutely appreciate that and uh, let me know if you have uh, any question or anything what you want to see and uh, always i will do something uh, uh, cute new things to help you as inspiration one thing i want to tell you uh if someone close to oregon or live in oregon or wanna learn from me i will be at the show in oregon may 15 i think the website you can find the information and i will keep two classes one is saturday one is monday and between have a show which is really good show and i i always love to go over there because it's like so it's so personal it's like not like uh, the big uh, shop meal you know what i mean it, you have a chance to talk with everyone asking the manufacturer if have manufacturer over there because it's not all company uh, manufacturer but i am will be over there so i will be able on the show side to answer any kind of question and they do demonstration the whole day and uh, saturday and sun uh, monday i will do uh, two different kind of class one is will be like a workshop in saturday that will be uh, mixing ma mixed media that mean one stroke 3d with realistic and hand painting with gel and the monday is whole day will be different kind of scroll work like uh, really really uh, from the beginning till the end, I guaranteed you will painting like me, including some Zostovo stroke too. So if you guys have uh, uh, time or you want uh, to learn from me, uh, especially the Monday class is already limited set have available. I think it's two, and uh, but you are really really welcome. To come and uh, if you come to the show uh, please visit me and uh, we can see you soon okay <clears throat> i just want to uh, find some question back mm. yes we want more more classes uh, yes uh, i try to do that honestly i just uh, go to instagram because i get more inquiry I just did on the Facebook and I feel like, you know what I mean, I, I, I checked the Instagram and was more uh, uh, interested, but I realized how so, uh, some nail sister have difficulty on the Instagram and uh, they asked me to come back. So if you guys help me to build up, uh, share uh, with uh, the groups, I really appreciate that and I will keep uh, the education or make maybe I add more days if you guys want so have any other question come to East Coast <laughs> um, Smokies I'm not able to go because last time when I, I was uh, able to go uh, because of course we needed to cancel and it was not really nice as organizer and i hope uh, the relationship will be turned to better in the future but this time i just uh, this year i decide to not go and they supporting i'm just i'm human you know what i mean i just supporting what supporting me too 
and the Oregon nail show was really supportive, not just as company. I see all nail technicians got uh, really good support over there. So for my heart is more closer the Oregon. But yes, I will going uh, maybe at the end of the year period, I will go to, uh, to East Coast. I'm not decide yet where, but yes, I will go in maybe Florida, maybe North Carolina or New York. Come to Michigan. I want to, I never been in Michigan. Always if someone invite me to the state when I never been, it's have more chance <laughs> because uh, it's just uh, really, really, always when I travel, I add to myself one or two day to see uh, how about the new state where I'm going. So keep in touch. You can uh, contact with me uh, direct message always if someone want me to go uh, somewhere New York too. <laughs> now that will be a good trip. <laughs> yes, I can. I will be able uh, to do classes, small classes on the weekends for sure. And the 2020. 3 January, yes I know, don't smash me, okay? But I will do a super big event. Will be a big Joanne's Bootcamp with international educators and that I will keep in Las Vegas because Las Vegas is in the center, so it's good to everyone, always cheap uh, airplane ticket and always fun. So that will be uh, the another uh, plan, but that is in January. Okay, Texas in September. <laughs> yes. Okay, let's keep in touch on the uh, direct uh, message. Um, and if you guys have any kind of inquiry uh, for future classes, don't be shy. Let me know. May maybe in own order. Okay, so I cannot uh, do for everyone same time uh, perfect, but I doing a demonstration to you guys, not to myself. So always I'm happy if you guys uh, uh, asking any inquiry or let me know. And uh, I just want to let you know, have a wonderful weekend to everyone. I love you guys and don't forget it, uh, love each other. If no one around you, just love yourself, give to yourself a good quality chocolate or the good uh, milk foamed coffee because uh, that is how you can charge your soul if you are feel you cannot just text me i will send you something good news or good picture <laughs> of the nail art and that makes you happy okay be ready to valentine days because the customer will be crazy don't forget it how you painting uh, hard i already did multiple time uh, in the youtube you can watch back and uh, see you on the next saturday and I will keep posting when and what till maybe do routine, okay? Ciao, guys. I love you.